You know, I one I think one I was just thinking about it, one one change that could really make a difference uh, from a government perspective is you, there always has to be a default policy, right? And so, you know, in, like in Canada, the default policy is crown owned. It's anything that gets produced crown owned. Yeah. Um, and I think it could make a big difference that if you could put in flexibility and say, okay, the default of what you're going to produce or you're going to acquire or you're going to use is going to be open source needs to be there in that portion. In other words, you have to be able to justify why you shouldn't be able to go down there. And there are many reasons. Maybe it'll cost you five times as much if you go down an open source route or not. It may well be, you know, because of the cost of whatever. There's, there is nobody to support it there. Whatever those reasons are. But I think just having that sort of default process in place as, as that inertia piece to be able to say, is there a good reason why not to do it this way? Um, could have a, a vast, a, a huge difference in terms of how this could work. And so, you know, I, I mean, it's, it's probably simplifying things, but but at the end of the day, you need to have some sort of that default position like that. And and it, the crown owned is a nice, simple one, right? Because that's sort of like, well, we'll just want it, and that way we don't have any questions asked about it. But it, it probably results in a situation where you have a lot of. Uh, um, added costs as a result of it, added headaches to change it, and so on. So, I mean, that'd just be my own quick sort of what's the one simple thing you could do that could make a big difference? That'd be the one. Okay.